Hi everyone, it's Katie with Boom How Beauty, and today, as promised, we're going to discuss glycolic acid and what it means for you and your skin. But before we delve deep into that glycolic world, I want to explain the differences between AHAs and BHAs. AHAs, or alpha hydroxy acids, are best used on drier skins because they remove the top few layers of skin to re reveal the healthier, glowing skin underneath. BHAs, or beta hydroxy acids, are best used on oilier skins because they go down deep into pores to remove dead skin cells, dirt, sebum, and bacteria. All of the ingredients that you need to cause a nasty blemish. AHAs and BHAs can be man-made, but are normally derived from plant sources, so they could be considered a natural ingredient. The most commonly known BHA is salicylic acid, which is used in acne treatments to get rid of unwanted gunk. But the most commonly known AHA is the topic of today's post, glycolic acid. The glycolic acid comes from sugar crops like sugar, <laughs> and it comes from fruits like pineapple, unripe grapes, and even beets. But don't be fooled by its sweet origins. This EHA can really pack a punch. Because of its superb ability to penetrate the skin, it's used in all sorts of skincare products to achieve different levels of results. In a clinic, Using high concentrations of glycolic acid, patients can receive chemical peels. And while the initial result is akin to a really bad sunburn with redness and peeling, after the healing process, some say they look years younger. I, personally, would never consider using a, pe a chemical peel right now because I'm really happy with the results that I'm getting at home. There are so many at-home peels that you can use on yourself without that sunburnt effect. I urge you to try those out before spending thousands in a clinic for high-grade chemical peels. Glycolic acid is known to improve the appearance and texture of skin. It can help to lessen fine lines and slowly erase wrinkles. It can also reduce the appearance of scarring from acne and hyperpigmentation by jump-starting the healing process and allowing other treatment applications to penetrate deeper because they have fewer layers of skin to go through. Glycolic acid mixes extremely well with alcohol and water, and it's usually added as a powder, so it's very stable and can be used in a multitude of products. One of my favorite products is a peel from Advanced Home Actives called the Brazilian Peel, and it's toted as the antidote for aging, which is at 24, I could use that. <laughs> It costs $78 and you receive four at-home peels in a double barrel syringe that looks like this. After following the enclosed directions, you are left with baby smooth skin and no painful side effects. A friend of mine is a bit addicted to this peel and cannot survive life without it. He uses one treatment a week and is starting to look like a skincare model. He has beautiful, glowing skin, and he's gotten fewer breakouts since he started using this peel. So I can definitely attest to the fact that it works. Because glycolic acid breaks down the glue that holds dead skin cells to your face, it's eliminating one of the icky ingredients that can cause a blemish. So while glycolic acid is better for people with drier skin, it can be used in conjunction with acne treatments to achieve better results. Glycolic acid is also found in cleansers, moisturizers, serums, and spot treatments. The Peter Thomas Roth 3% Glycolic Wash or the DDF 5% Glycolic Wash is an excellent way to incorporate glycolic acid into your skin regimen without having to add another step to your day. Simply replacing your wash with these or another wash that has glycolic acid in it, you are able to wash away the day's dirt with a little extra oomph. And like I said, moisturizers are getting into the exfoliating game too.
The Skin Rever Upper from Bare Essentials has glycolic acid in it, which helps to aid in beautiful skin and will create a gorgeous palette for your foundation. Men's only lines, like Anthony Logistics and Jack Black, have products that are including glycolic too, proving that everyone has their finger on the pulse of this star ingredient. When glycolic acid is in a moisturizer or serum that you put on and leave on, the real work is done when you wash your face at night. Glycolic acid has already penetrated your dead skin layers and unstuck the ick. All you have to do is wash it off. A few reminders. Glycolic acid is best for drier skin, but it can be used with an oily skin when paired with the right acne treatments. Using at-home treatments can give you the results you want without having to go to the doctor, so try those out first. There are tons of products that have glycolic acid in them. Even the ones with small percentages can be very effective. So start out small and work your way up. There's no sense in rushing and having to backpedal to achieve perfection. This was my glycolic acid video and hopefully it answered all of your questions. If not, please comment below. Let me know what it is that I missed, what it is you would like me to go over, or if you would like to see something in a future video, you know, glycolic acid 2, revenge of the exfoliator, or something like that. I don't um, So please let me know how you felt about this and what I can do to make everything better. I will try to comment back to you if it's something that is urgent, like I just did a peel and I'm red and peeling, what can I do? I will try <laughs> to give you an answer. Um, the next video that I do is going to be part demonstration, part review, and part confessional because I went and I purchased these eye tattoos when I was at Walmart the other day and they are in an animal <laughs> an animal design so um, I thought that these would be really awesome because I thought that they would be similar to like a, a rub-on tattoo that you put on with the water and apparently they're cream eyeshadows so for those of you that didn't know that cream eyeshadows. Um, I'm not really sure how these are going to work because I have really oily eyelids. So I'm going to let you know what I did to get them to work or if they just plain old didn't work. So that will be included in my next video when we talk about color and then after that another skincare video. So it's going to be super exciting. Make sure you subscribe, tell all your friends and I'm really enjoying it. Thanks so much for all your views and your subscriptions. Maybe I'll even have a contest and a giveaway the next time. I have to see if I can come up with something else, because right now I've got one thing that I want to give away. We'll see. Okay? So, make sure to stay tuned. Boom Pow Beauty. Stay beautiful. Bye!